Aloha friends, welcome to Finding Hypotenuse Lengths on our Spiral. So this is what our worksheet looks like right here. You've got, uh, we're going to be doing the hypotenuses today. We are not going to be doing the central angles. We'll do that in another video. But you do need the hypotenuse lengths to do the central angles. So this one does need to get done first. Uh, you do have two sides to this. And I recommend that you have this diagram too. We're going to be using the Pythagorean theorem. The hypotenuse squared equals the leg squared plus the leg squared. Or c squared equals a squared plus b squared. Now to start this one off here. Remember we had this side was 3 and this side was 3. And we're going to look at this first triangle right here. Triangle 1. Since they're all right triangles, we can use the Pythagorean theorem. Our legs are 3 and 3. Our hypotenuse, or h1, is what we're trying to find. You'll see I've already got this done for you up here. Uh, there's our legs, the 3 squared and the 3 squared. 3 squared is 9. 9 plus 9 is 18. I didn't show this, but then I square rooted each side. And that gave me this, h1 equals the square root of 18. Well, we need to reduce these. I do expect to see these steps. Well, 18 is 9 times 2. I know other things multiply to 18, 3 times 6. But I can't take a square root of 3. I can't take a square root of 6. I can take a square root of 9. That's why we use it. It comes out to 3 root 2. That answer goes right here. I should have also mentioned that this number that we got goes into this column right there, the hypotenuse squared. There's some patterns in there to notice. Okay, so we got our 3 root 2. I can put that into our calculator. Whoops. And 3 square root 2. Two. I'm using the Desmos calculator. I do recommend using this calculator. You can see we got 4.242. That's going to round to 4.24. Go back to this. This, I don't know why I wrote this as a 3. It should have been a 2. I did some extra rounding. We got 4.24 there. Okay, so you can also write that on this diagram here. So this side is 3 square root of 2. Now we're going on to our second triangle here. We'll highlight it in green. We know this side is 3, just like all these sides are 3 on the outside here. And we also have this for our other leg. So the hypotenuse for triangle 1 is a leg for triangle 2. I also have this one done for us already up here, so let's erase some of this. And so you'll notice 3 plus 3 root 2. You'll also see that this number just came down in there, just using that. So 3 squared is 9, 3 root 2 squared, well 3 squared is 9, root 2 squared is 2, 9 times 2 gives me 18, 9 plus 18 gives me 27. Again, this number goes into this column right there. I need to break this down a little bit. I square rooted each side. Square root of a square is just the h2, 27. I'm going to break up to 9 times 3. Again, I can take a square root of 9. Square root of 9 is 3 root 3. There's my simplified version. That goes right there. And 5 point, oh, again, I wrote some numbers down here wrong. This should be a 6, as I recall. Here's a little trick you can use. So instead of retyping this whole thing, I'm just going to arrow back in there, backspace, and put in the 3. And I don't have to retype the whole thing. 5.196. Well, 6 I got to round up. That's going to go to 5.20. So you can see there's my 5.20 that I rounded it up to. OK. 
Okay, let's go back to our diagram. For this one, I got 3 square root of 3. And I actually could have used any of the numbers. I could have used the square root of 27. You don't want to use the decimals on these. But we got another triangle right here, triangle 3, in the gold box there. 3 and 3 root 3 are our legs. We're going to plug those in. Again, you'll see I got that one done for you up here. There you are. You'll also see G's. The hypotenuse of the previous one became the leg of the next one. So that pattern is going to repeat in here. So multiply it out again. 9 plus 9 times 3, or 9 plus 20, gives me 36. This goes over here. Well, square root of 36, I could have gone right to 6, or I can go root 9, root 4. Just follow the pattern I've been using. Square root of 9 is 3. Well, I can also take a square root of 4. Square root of 4 is 2. 3 times 2 gives me 6, so a couple of ways to get there. That goes into my, whoops, my fully reduced column right here. Now, this one, we have a pattern. You can see 3 root 2, 3 root 3. Jeez, broke the pattern here. I got 6, but you can see from over here. If I do the square root of 9, square root of 4, I get 3 root 4. To make the patterns, please show that work in the box on the top for me. Okay, so I'm going to go to my calculator. Again, like before, I could have just changed that to 4. You can see that comes out to 6. Please note 6.00 for the decimal to a hundredths. It's supposed to go that far. Let's get rid of some of this yellow and this extra stuff in here. Okay, so let's do the next one. So I could put this side in as 3 root 4, or I could put it in as 6. Either way is going to work. Here's number 4. I got a 3. I got a 3 root 4, or I could use 6. I'm just going to keep using the 3 root 4, just because that's the pattern that I see. Here we are. Whoops, I need to go up here. So on this one, I'm going to start it off. H4, because we're in the fourth triangle, squared equals 3 squared plus 3 root 4 squared. You could also use 6 there if you want. Don't worry about that. That gives me 9 plus 9 times 4. That's 9 plus 36, so h4 squared gives me 45. I'm going to square root each side. h4 equals square root of 45. So I just did this. I didn't write that on there. I just wrote the result of it. And I'm going to break this up again. I'm going to use the same pattern that I've seen here and here and here. 9 times 2, 9 times 3, 9 times 4. That's going to give me h4 equals square root of 9 times square root of 5. So h4 equals 3 root 5. And I forgot I could have put my 45 in right there. There's the 3 root 5. I already showed that one to you. Go to my calculator back here. There's my calculator. Let's arrow it back, delete that. I think we got a 5 in there now. Let's put in the 5, 6.708. That rounds up to 6.71. So that's going to be H4 equals 6.71, and 6.71 goes in over there. This pattern just keeps repeating. Again, notice 
this number just came up down here. Repeat it again. Just like we're going to use this one again here too on the next one. So if I come down here, I've got my next triangle there. That was pretty ugly. There we go. Follow the lines a little bit better. This was 3 root 5. Hey, you're starting to notice the pattern, aren't you? Make sure that pattern continues with your work. I will be looking for the work, but you can use these patterns to check your answers. So you can see my legs there. Or you can just follow the pattern. Uh, H5 squared equals 3 squared plus 3 root 5. I just brought this down. Oops, forgot to put my square on that. So h5 squared is going to equal 9 plus 9 times 5. That's 9 plus 45. So h5 squared equals 54. Again, I'm square rooting each of those sides. h5 equals square root of 54. I'm going to keep following my pattern. h5 equals square root of 9, square root of 6. Because again, notice 3 root 2, 3 root 3, 3 root 4, 3 root 5. This one's going to be 3 root 6. Or that 9, you can see all sorts of patterns in here. Where's my blue? So h5 equals 3 square root of 6. So that's going to be 3 root 6. I should have put my 50. Hey, another pattern. 18 to 27, that's up by 9. 27 to 36, that's up by 9. 36 to 45, that's up by 9. 45 to 54, that's up by 9. Lots of patterns. I'm going to... Change this, get my 6 in there, now I can't write on this screen, or I don't know how, 7.348, the 8 says we round up, that goes to 7.35, the most common error I get on these is rounding errors. It's not big points, but it still is points you're losing, you never want to give away points. So what did I say that should be? I already forgot. 7.35. So that's 7.35. And we just keep on going from there. This pattern repeat, repeats throughout the whole thing. I'm going to throw you a couple of bones here. Just hold on. So here's a few things. You should get 63 for this one. This one, when you reduce it, you should get 6 root 2. And then you're going to have to fill in the pattern. The pattern is not going to match when you reduce it. This one, again, it's going to be a really easy, a simpler one. But you should be able to change that to 3 root 9 for the pattern. So there goes your pattern in there. On the other side, some answers you're going to get. Uh, let's say we should have a 108 right here. Let's look at this one, number 9. We should get 9.49 9 there. Uh, 13, 3 root 14 we should get in there. 15 we should get 12 right there. And number 16. We should have 153. Don't forget 12.00 for that decimal. Okay, that's it, kids. Hope this helps. You have a good day.